my beautiful friends welcome back to my channel this is Nova Gnome Creations and I'm Nova and I am so happy to see you today today we have something extra special in store so I have got some happy mail here and this happy mail is part of a collab that I'm doing with a company called high crochet and I have some things to show you so I had actually been seeing some ads from High Crochet recently, and I was actually really interested in them. I thought that they looked super cute and super intriguing. Let me get these things out and then I will show you. Um, so when they reached out to me, interested in collaborating, all right, I got everything out of there. When they reached out to me, interested in collaborating, I was like, perfect. I literally was just looking at their stuff. Um, so they do these like really interesting styles of crochet kits. They're a crochet kit company. Um, they do special crochet kits that are like, um, more than just your typical crochet kit. Okay. So they do a couple different types of things. You may have seen ads for them. If you've seen ads for like the ones, um, that have like mechanical type of features that you put inside of them and they'll move around, that is probably high crochet. What I have to show you guys today is these bubble crochet kits. So here is the first one I've got to share with you guys. It is a beginner crochet kit. This one is for the little fish. It says little fish made with love, high crochet. Um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna go through, I've got three different ones here that I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna show you the packaging. We're gonna take a little look at them. And then I am gonna go ahead and make one and we can see what the hype is about. Like see if they live up to the hype. Okay, so first things first, I love the packaging. They come in this really pretty uh, blue, like aqua blue colored bag. And they have a cute little picture and everything on the front. They come in a resealable bag, which is always so nice because you can work on it, keep all of your stuff uh, with you and then put it back in it when you're done or in between working on it. There is a little clear window here in the back where you can get like a little hint of the type of stuff that's inside. I'm gonna go ahead and show you each of these and then I'll bring you down to desk level and we'll open it up and see like what all comes with it. The next one that I got is the beginner crochet kit bubble lucky cat. Um, this is like, I don't know if you guys have seen these lucky cats, but they're usually um, like, if you haven't seen them, that's what they are. And if you have seen them, then you will recognize that. So these are all bubble kits. I, I guess I didn't even point out the bubble, but this one has the bubble right there. And then this one also has the bubble on its mouth. And what it is, is they have these little bubbles that you put inside of them. They're like a little balloon. And when you squeeze the crochet toy, it blows a bubble. So kind of like a stress toy or a fidget toy, um, but it's also crochet. So I thought that was so cool. And then the third one that I got is the dinosaur kit. And here is what it looks like. I love the the packaging is just so cute. I like that it's like minimalistic and simple but also just bright and colorful. Little yarn balls. Um, this is like a nice thick packaging and then like I said you've got your little preview window in the back. These seem really nice quality to me um, and like I said they are resealable and they've got the little resealable um, like Ziploc type of closure. All right, let's take you guys down to desk level so we can see what is inside. Okay, so here is our dinosaur crochet kit. Thought that we would open this one up and see what we've got inside. So we have a little Ziploc closure here. then I am just going to empty it out and we will go through everything. Wow, that is soft yarn. Okay, so 
here is the contents of the crochet kit. Wow, that is soft yarn. So this is like a thin um, chenille yarn. Wow, that's even softer than chenille yarn. That's like fleece. This is like fleece yarn. I have not felt yarn like that before. Wow, that is so, so soft. So they give me a little bit of polyfill. They give me this little card and I'm not gonna show it. Um, I'm not gonna show you the other side of it because it has QR codes and links, but it has a link and a QR code um, for whatever your preference is for the online pattern and for a YouTube tutorial. Also, it says need help, contact, and it has an email and it has a text number that you can text. So that is really, really cool. So you come, it comes with this little card and it has a um, link and a YouTube uh, tutorial or a link and a um, QR code to a YouTube tutorial and a written pattern. Then we've also got a darning needle for sewing in our ends and attaching all of these little pieces. And we've got a little baggie of some notions. So in this little uh, baggie, we've got a keychain so that we could turn this into a keychain if we wanted to. And then we've got three stitch markers and we have two eyes. These eyes are flat back not safety eyes so you guys can see the back of that it's got a flat back so these will have to be glued on but it comes with a glue stick so if you have a uh, glue gun then you can actually already have a glue stick and I think that that is a mini glue stick which is perfect because I have personally a mini glue gun so I'm gonna go ahead and leave those out actually and I'll just put the little eyeballs back in here. Then we've got the main uh, yarn for our body and a little tiny uh, hank or a little tiny ball or skein or whatever you wanna call it for each of those little um, scales that go down the back. Th these are like adorable. Uh, and then white for the belly and for the eyes. And then it comes with this little red crochet hook. Um, it's got a silicone handle. Uh, if I had to guess it's silicone, it's not plastic. So I don't know what else it would be, maybe like latex or something. Um, but it's that kind of rubbery, you know, silicone-y, uh, silicone latex-y sort of feeling. Um, it is a two millimeter hook, so this is going to be a small, um, very small stitch, which makes sense because this yarn is a very thin type of plush yarn. Let's see if I can get my finger under there, show you guys. Um, this yarn is so soft. I literally don't know if I've ever felt yarn like this. It's not like your standard chenille yarn. It really feels like fleece. If you've ever had like a really soft fleece, um, like pullover or something, that's this material. Really, really soft. I'm really curious about working with that. Um, and then the last thing that it comes with is the little ball that goes inside of it, the little bubble. Because remember, these are bubble crochet kits. This goes inside of your amigurumi and then it, it pops out this piece pops out of like the mouth or whatever and then when it's squeezed it's got like a like basically like a little stress relief um function to it so it's like a good stress toy this feels really sturdy it doesn't feel like um like i was wondering about it when i saw that it's like a balloon i was like oh is it going to be just like a normal balloon but like this feels really sturdy 
and really soft, easy to squish. So it's not going to take a whole lot of hand strength to squish it. I am so curious about this. So I am going to go ahead and pull up the pattern and check it out, get going on this. And then I will come back and tell you guys how it went, let you guys know my feedback, my opinions, um, and like just the overall experience that I have with this kit. And also really excited to see how this works out. Okay guys, here is the finished product. So I love him. I think he came out so stinking cute and I think he's so adorable. So for my full review here, um, for one, let's start with, you know, I'm going to start with the thing that I was the most concerned about. And that was the fact that this was a two millimeter hook project. So this is a very tiny hook. Okay. You guys see that teeny tiny tip if you've ever used a two millimeter hook. Um, it is a very small hook and I don't typically do amigurumi with a two millimeter hook. Um, however, this was actually such a pleasure to work with because this yarn is fantastic. So I made, um, if you guys have been here for a little bit, you might remember me doing another crochet kit. Uh, in December of last year. I won't go uh, naming names or anything like that. Um, and it came out cute. However, I was saying that I really struggled with wanting to work on it because it was a small hook, a smaller yarn. And the yarn was what I compared to like an embroidery floss. It wasn't fun to work with. It was splitty. Um, and when you're using a splitty yarn for such a small hook, that is so frustrating. However, this yarn is incredibly soft. It um, is one single piece, so it's not gonna split on you because it's like a solid. It is literally the softest yarn ever. I think it would probably be considered a chenille yarn, but like this is even softer than your typical chenille yarn. I really love this so much so that I went onto their website to see if they sold it um, outside of the kits, which they do. I really, really like this yarn, guys. I, I can't say enough about that. So the fact that I was using a two millimeter hook, I didn't even mind at all. So if you're somebody who is a little leery on using such a small hook, you know, making such small amigurumi, I would recommend this yarn if you are wanting to try, if you're wanting to be able to make the small things. Um, but you know, you've had issues with splitty yarn in the past because you know, when you're using a hook this little, you cannot have splitty yarn. So I really loved that. So that made the two millimeter hook work. Um, and also, like I said, just the yarn itself, it's got really vivid colors. Um, as you can see here, they give you plenty. I think that I probably have enough here that if I wanted to, I could probably make almost another entire one of these. Um, the only one I might not have enough of would probably be the blue, but even that I might have enough to do an entire second one. They give you a plenty of yarn. So um that's a couple things like checked off the things that you're really looking for in a crochet kit one it is so common to not get enough yarn and to run out of yarn while you're trying to work on your project as you can see i did this exactly how they did i did this all following the instructions and i only used the tools that they provided i wanted to make sure i was really authentic to the experience of using this crochet kit and only this crochet kit so this is what was left doing it by their instructions. Plenty of yarn. Um, this hook is the hook I used for the entire project. Um, I appreciate the fact that it is an ergonomic hook. I do not like to use just a straight up aluminum hook because especially for these like two millimeters and stuff like that, this is extremely thin. I want an ergonomic handle. I like this ergonomic handle. I prefer this kind of grippier, like silicone texture. Um, I've gotten some in the past that I didn't know were plastic until they came in. Um, and then the handle was like a plastic material and I do not like that. So I actually like this hook. If I make a project where I'm using a two millimeter hook, I will reach for this hook. I like it. Um, as far as the instructions go, this card on the back of it, has two QR codes and two URLs. You can either type the URLs into your uh, search engine or you can scan the QR codes with your phone if you use uh, the camera app. 
it will let you click on that little URL code or that little uh, QR code that's on the screen and open up the link directly from it. I used the pattern for this, but I did also look at the video tutorial. Um, the pattern has everything you need in it except for assembly process, but this assembly process, at least for me, was very self-explanatory. I could look at it and know what I needed to do. However, I did use the tutorial a little bit for the creating process of the body and uh, looking at it for the assembly process and stuff so that I could give you a good review, um, like a full rounded review. I found the video tutorial and the written patterns to be great. Um, the written tutorial was, or the written pattern was very straightforward. They didn't have any extra info in there, so it was just the pattern, but it was written in such an easily digestible way. I like a straightforward pattern that I can just sit there and read it and make my thing and it not be written in sentences and paragraphs unless it's necessary. And it, it's not necessary. This is a simple, you know, you don't need to like explain every little bit of it. So I liked that it was straightforward. If you're, if you know how to read a pattern, you're comfortable reading a pattern, you will like the pattern for this in my opinion. Um, but if you need a tutorial, the tutorial is actually really, really good too. And they have a tutorial that goes over everything. They have a playlist of tutorials. Um, when you pull up that list, it's a playlist. And they have video tutorials for every like basic thing you could need to know, like making a magic circle, how to do like a single crochet, how to increase, decrease, all of that. They have individual videos for those things. So if you're new, like new, new, and you don't know how to do it, you can have a video tutorial for every little step. They also have a video tutorial for the whole body, for the tail, for the spikes, everything. They break it down so that there are individual videos so that you can go watch the video you need. Um, and then the only thing that I did not have that was necessary, or not necessary, but would have been nice, um, but I understand why they don't include it, is this little bubble. So I've purposely been making you guys wait to see this because it is so cool and I wanted to like give you guys, you know, my opinion on the kit first. But this little bubble comes inflated. You guys saw it at the beginning of the video. However, um, they say there's actually a video in your tutorial list that depending on your crochet size, um, you know, what yarn you're using, what hook you're using, all that, you might need your bubble to be a different size. And it shows you how to make your bubble bigger. If you're making your bubble bigger, you have to have a syringe with a metal needle, you know, the ones that have the needles, and you there's like a spot on the bubble that you can insert the syringe into and just push air into it. I don't have any of those syringes, and I understand why the kit didn't come with a needle syringe. That could be a little problematic, I guess, um, but I wasn't... I don't have access to one. I didn't want to have to go try to hunt one down and buy one probably online. So all I did was take some of that polyfill they provided and I put polyfill up in the head and I put a little bit of polyfill in the back. Um, while I've been talking about it, I will have popped up a picture so you guys could see what I meant about it. my bubble not filling out my crochet. Um, obviously I didn't want to leave it flappy and loose. So I just used some of that polyfill, which is totally fine. Looks great. You wouldn't even know. But that's the only thing I would say, um, you know, that didn't come with the kit is the ability to reinflate the bubble. But are you guys ready to see this? Ah! So this is a great little stress reliever. And this is uh, not hard to squeeze. This is very like easy to squeeze. So it doesn't require ridiculous hand strength. You can squeeze it from the front or you can squeeze it from the sides. So this would be perfect for a little stress relief guy to keep on your desk. Um, you can also put a keychain on it. It did come with a keychain. Uh, I opted not to put the keychain on it because I didn't want to turn it into a keychain, but you uh, have that option. This is like such a cute little stuffy. You could hang it on a backpack, you could hang it on a purse, um, or like I said, makes a great little desk companion. Um, I love the colors. They're just so vibrant. And I think he came out absolutely adorable. I would 100% I would recommend this crochet kit um, without feeling like any reservations. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, like I said, to the extent that I went and checked if I could buy this yarn, I really liked it. And I will absolutely not hesitate in the future to purchase crochet kits from this company. I think that they are worth it for sure. 
the yarn is great, the hook is great, the tutorial, the pattern, everything was what I would hope for. And you don't normally see that. So 10 out of 10. Um, I also used the tools provided. So I used their stitch markers, their needle. Um, I used their eyes. That's the only thing I would say that I would personally change. Um, if I were to be doing this kit not as a review, I probably would have just used safety eyes that I already have. Um, but because I was doing it as a kit, I did want to do the little glue on eyes that they gave you. Um, but there's nothing wrong with that. It's just a personal preference. So I would have done safety eyes. Maybe if I was to be changing the kit in any way, I would also include safety eyes. That's really the only thing I can think of because I really did enjoy this a lot. So thank you so much to High Crochet for letting me work with you on this. Um, being able to collaborate and share this with you guys um, because High Crochet sent me these kits and I 100% recommend it. I will be putting in the description box links to all of these items. So if you are interested, make sure you check that out. You can get all that stuff in the description box, which will be below this video. Click on the read more and you will be able to get a hold of any information you could possibly want.